Welcome back, everybody. We're ready to jump into the first map of this series. One side, we have Big. The other side, we have a sharp Navi, but not necessarily the sharpest Navi that we've ever seen. We're going to see if they can bounce back here against Big, who are definitely the boys in Berlin. Oh, boy, it's that Big Navi game that we've been talking about, and we promised you it. Dust 2 to kickstart the day. And I tell you what, the reason why this series is so exciting is I think if we end up with a three-mapper, that's where Navi can win. Ooh. If we end in two, I think Big take it in two. So this is this is interesting to me, because I think it's going to be a real game of longevity here for Navi. But let's keep our eye on this pistol round. It's already out through long. Navi, they're, they're creeping their way into the front lines with three out through long trying to contest the catwalk and taps him while he does get the information he's also gonna get tagged a bit and now it's an oh simple he's not messing around today he's opened up with two and with it this round could get locked in taps he's made his presence known over it short does get dropped by flamey Santares has gotten out through the mid door in the meantime but big left in a two on three retake this is a pretty rough spot and you've still got simple left alive hidden at the goose ah yes the goose the goose is loose, though. Xanteras has made his way up to the elbow, and we're going to see Keto drop off into spawn. They're going to try to retake this. There's a little bit of flash in the sky. Perfecto with the shot. Now they have to reposition to fight this last fight in Keto, and he's just somehow dodging bullets like Neo from the Matrix. Not to be confused with Keanu Reeves, who can do the same thing. Out of many talents. I want to reference back to that earlier Master game. Of all. Yeah, Jack of None. Uh, we, Jack, you know, no, he's definitely a Jack of all trades and talents. He's, he's that guy. Great early shots for Simple Right, finding three in the pistol. Let's reference back to that game on Dust 2. It was a 44-round game, the big one. In the 44-round game, Simple ended 54 and 23. He died half of the rounds. And yeah, that's those are some pretty good numbers and some pretty good stats. And they still lost that. Keep that in mind. Big won it. So kind of a scary situation here for Na'Vi, but Simple already starting things off fantastic. Perfecto looks to continue where he left off. Tabs and pushed back. Boomich coming from lower. He'll hear the escape, but he won't be able to stop it. Citizens close with the scout in middle. <laughs> What's so funny, gents? Well, no indeed. Laughing. Yeah, man. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. You go, you all good? You hearing things? Yeah, maybe. Speaking of hearing things, there's a lot of noise in the server, but it's going to be towards long A. Na'Vi with the presence, but here's the skirmish. It's coming through the form of middle, and Zonteras isn't ready to give it up just yet. I say that, he turns around and runs away. Oh, oh, oh this man's oh, angry. Oh, Simple's nuts. Oh, no. Keep it going, Simple. All right, dude. Okay, I didn't account for this. I didn't account for Simple being as damn good as he is to open this one. Like, there's a lot of confidence surging through Simple right now, and he's made that much clear. Big. I'm going to try and group up onto Electronic, but Tizian, well, he does deal with him. He quickly gets traded by Boomich, and so for Searson, he's going to try and hold on to the Scout. Now, we know how deadly this guy can be with this weapon, but uh, asking for a 1v4, that's asking a lot, especially with all the time ticked off this bomb. For him, the priority is keeping it with him into this follow-up round. Simple, though. Simple is out for, for something today, man. He's, he's woke up, he's feeling it, and he just wants to dominate. And that, is that too much to ask, man? Is that too much to ask? Not, not at all, not guy. for Simple. In fact, it's, it's like what you expect even. It's like the bare minimum. Yeah, it is a shame when we get those series where Na'Vi, like uh, like everyone else is performing, but Simple's a little bit quiet. And, you know, it, it, it's got to be hard to consistently keep up a top-level performance in every match you play. But for so long, he's been doing it. So why bet against him? It's hard to. Big, it, actually favorites in the bookmakers coming into this matchup. So keep that in mind. It did win last time, but... Hey, past isn't everything, Trace. We're here in the present. We're here in the now. And Na'Vi, they're 2-0 up. And that's all that matters is here and now. No foresight, no hindsight, none of the above. Speaking of which, look at this aggression here in middle. Yeah, it's only the USPs, right? And so they, they're happy to get away with anything. But I think you would have liked a little bit more. Something, you know. Searson still with his scout, and uh, now no longer with his scout. That's that round all tucked to bed as Na'Vi go 3-0 up. And now we have the investment. Oh, hello. Na'Vi, a little tilted, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Because the camera's tilted. That, oh. was, that was a true yeah. Chuckle Brothers chuckle yeah, right man, there. Yeah, man, yeah. Oh, oh, I'm feeling it today. Can you tell? I can tell. I can also tell that Big aren't in the fight just yet. However, this could be the round where things start to change and take a different shape. 
Simple, of course, picking middle with an AK. And Flamey's out long. He's going to cause Searson to fall all the way back. They have no control of it. It can't stop that situation ship from happening. Ooh, Perfecto flashed into middle early. I like how Navi are setting the pace so far, taking a lot of control away from Big. It's not going to be a commitment. He's forced out Util. He's forced Tabson on a rotate, and a boost may be going on his spawn. Tizian. Oh, they both jump. There we go. Tabson gets up at the end. Navi going towards long instead. They still have this one cat lurk that they had in the pistol round as well. It was electronic there, and it kept Big at bay. And it will do so here and now as well. Perfecto, not on a rush, right? He's on his own. Big could already start be, uh, start to flank him, and that seems to be what they want to do. Searson flashed off the angle. Perfecto could have made a move, but now he's walking into the orb, trained and ready. Falls off with a missed shot. The smoke comes down, and as well on long. Navi going to try and cross. Searson needs to flick, and he's got the first kill. Electronic gone. Stuck in spawn, though, could easily get spammed or flanked from Cat. Tizian has his cover. Searson does die through the smoke. And Navi, a man down, trading quickly. Simple. What? Right on. Boomich takes that kill. Tizian flashed through the smoke. It's pandemonium. And it's Boomich alone with a bomb parted. He's going to try and oh. force a fight. And Tares wins it. And it's Tizian who goes rushing through that utility to get it all done for big. And I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm kind of baffled because those are the shots that happen against me. And they will never happen for me. So... Good stuff on simple, albeit in vain. They're going to put a round up, and they needed it. Look at Tizian to go. He's just that guy. He is that guy in that round. Yeah, we talk about this a lot with Big. Like, they're not afraid to to, to make a move, right? Like, oh. you could compare them to a team like FaZe, who will try <laughs> and play that? things very safe. Right, like, all the Navi fans are on, and they're, like, all wearing yellow. They're looking cool. <laughs> and then it's, like, the big camera comes on, and there's, like... They're, like, dressed like insane clown yeah, posse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a very oh. awkward engagement out. Oh, oh no. no. The accidental jump tizzy, and he had it dead to right. Luckily enough, Tabson's here, but now not for... Oh, what's happening? Searson trades it out, and now Zantara's pushing middle. It's all on to Semple and a 1v3. What can he do? He's got the AWP. He's got his weapon of choice, and he's looking for Zantara's Down into mid, he drops. But Ooh. caught looking the wrong way by Quito. And big, they chain together a second round in a row with it. They're going to cause some complications now for Na'Vi. We all love a complication or two. Because now the money's in a bit of a rough spot. Simple as well on the back of investing into that AWP. He's pretty broke. So, yeah, this is a bit of a rough spot now. Suddenly turned for Simple and the rest of Na'Vi. They can still invest, but, yeah, they are going to be lacking on Flamey and Boomage. Double AWP. Are Simple and Electronic at home? Are they relegated to another room? Because they're not in their usual seat to the back of the cam. We'll have to catch up with that one. Oh dear, where's that molly? It's like flying in the sky and Big are going to be able to... Or Navi rather, going to be able to get out along with limited issue. Where did they even land? It was yeah, like on, on the fire top. at the top of the and doors. The yeah. Maybe, maybe Simple's playing from the coffee shop. We know he likes coffee with a straw. So. Coffee with the straw, that's true. Oh, Ben Searson. He's on the uh, the last straw here up against Na'Vi. He's just taken down another. And now, I guess it would be the final straw. But... Nah, man. It's the first countdown. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to continue that. Oh, you should have, man. That you don't been, want to get that DMTA'd. Been epic, bro. That would have been yeah. epic. You should yeah, do it. Dude. Do it now. Go on. Do it no. for Keto. Go on, man. It's got the all. Do something cool if you do it. Oh. Nope. Wow, dude. Zatara's here. Oh, almost with the spray, but Flamey's going to pick him up. Keto now on this secondary orb. A nice Ooh. flick to open it up, and the supporting flashes are good. Perfecto will trade it out. And now into this 1v3 for Perfecto. He's already got two in the round, so this has to be an ace from him. They're asking a lot of just one man. And with two players wrapping the tunnels quickly, I hate to break it to you, but Perfecto's dead. Tizian just swings out into the open and mops them up. So big, they tie this one up nice and early. Kind of surprised he got the bomb planted under those circumstances. But he did, just barely. Searson hitting the shot. Player just trying to not be in, in sight and in mind. Yeah, I imagine the molly at the start was missed because uh, Navi had been flashing Searson off long, so he probably got it out blind and it went the wrong way. Navi had been taking that long control pretty well. Searson did have a solution this round, forcing Navi into a B play that does not work wonders. It's an eco, even with the plant. 
They've got lots of loss bonus, three in a row for big. And so Navi are fine to buy in the next. And they're going to go quick. They want to make it a fast affair towards this B-bomb site, waiting and respecting the Molotov. But a double B set up with the AWP here as well. Keto needs to do something. He's been flashed off. Same story for Santaris in the car, blind, spraying, desperate times. And Keto with a shot that won't connect. Flamey doubles with a Tech-9. Maybe yes, the sir. gun is the gift that keeps on giving. And it needs to now, as Navi have the site. Oh, we already knew that that Tech-9 was going to come alive. But here it is. Still waiting on the bomb plant. Tons of time. And finally, it's going to begin to go down. Another Tech-9 in play. And it's going to be Perfecto. It's right underneath the window. Simple on the AWP. Playing from Platt. And Flamey. There towards the car. Taps and drops Molotov in through the window. Just trying to cause a, a ruckus. Maybe get a fight. And maybe win a duel. But that Molotov is going to spell bad news for Navi. Speaking of which, Tizian falls in the meantime. Tapson's dropped into the site. It's going to be able to take out Simple and a good trade. Flamey keeping the hopes alive. Searson, he's now backing away. There's not much room to work with here. He's going to be blind in doing so. Takes a shot, and he's going to get shot in the back. And there you have it. Navi, piece together, string it together, and grab themselves around. Oof. Oh, look at that Tech 9 action. Yes. Ooh. Man, how, like, are you sponsored by Tech 9 yeah, Exactly. <laughs> oh, dude, that's pretty cool. That's pretty lucrative. Where's the guy with the face paint at? Because that it. was the Na'Vi fan cam, so they're, like, all pretty normal from what I could tell. And then, <laughs> so, then, what are you then, trying to say, Harry? Then you, get, then you get to the big fans, and then you got, like, the guys with, like, the scary clown masks and stuff, and it's pretty metal, man. I'll give them that. It's like, Molly twisted again. metal. Yeah, no, they've missed this Molly a few times, and it's... It's a long doors Molotov. I don't, I mean, you know, it's, you know, it's, no. <laughs> it's not like some, uh, some mega complex Molly that's meant to go in. I think they're just trying to throw it quickly, right? Because you know Simple's orping the other side. He already fired a shot off the, the flash that went out for big. And so, you know, you don't want to hang around on the corner throwing utility when Simple's there. And it's Ooh. just costing big a waste of uh, $600. Not the end of the world. They give away the control anyway. And this is a weak buy for big off the back of losing the last. So relying on Citizen's Orp. It wasn't saved, but it has been reinvested. And so everything needs to come from it. Oh, the smoke fading. And he looks at the corner. Simple's already Aye. crossed in the pit. And uh, Na'Vi, they're just going to run towards this A site. Oh, Boomich, he's come. He's got his ticket for a free kill. And there he is. He's redeemed it on Tizian. And this round, it's it's done for big, surely, right? Like, they're in a three-on-five. Maybe if Tabson... Yep. Yeah, well, they, yeah. now it's definitely done. At this point... Oh, oh, freebie. On to simple, no less. Zantara's laughing all the way to the bank as he gets out of this round with the AWP. Uh-oh, Keto, here's the first death. What can you even do? Boomish just chases him down. And they know that Zantara's is trying to hold on to this orb. Oh, dear. That's close. 360 for us. Oh, got the right. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Hunted down. And the AWP not saved. Na'Vi, they take another round. I, I like today, man. I, I love the... Uh... No, actually, go on, Hugo. What were you going to say? What do you love? I don't even know what I was going to say. What do you love, man. Harry? Tell us about your desires. I, no, I was just going to say, like, I love how in the fan cams, everyone's really making an effort to, like, bring some personality to it. You know, like, it's not just a bunch of people, like, sat there lifeless... Everyone's like, everyone's, I don't know, man. You got like flags, you got like player jerseys, you got masks, you got Listen, pets. We got I've everything. spent time in the fan cam. So, yeah, what was okay. it like? Um, I realized very quickly that you'll never know when you're on camera. Ooh. Let's see. Some familiar faces here. That guy's got underwear on his head, it looks like. So that was, oh my God, there it is again. Wait, take us back. There it is, man. Oh, what is that? It's Someone's just, playing the violin. It's pretty terrifying. What is going on? Once it gets to be the most to where people will like just have like their phone with like a message on it in the in the fan cam. That's it's pretty fun. Around. Like to try and like get a message across, whatever that may be. Sometimes, you know, that message doesn't come across. You can't really read it. <laughs> yeah, yeah normally it's inverted, so it makes reading it very hard. Oh, oh yeah. simple. Peace out. Yeah, Navi is sending a message to Big now, and it's a devastating one. Simple Ooh. dinked on the repeat. Tabs a nice try, buddy, nice. but one HP, two dinks off the USP. It won't do a thing. Simple still stands tall, and Flamey spotted Sis and lower. Simple still hanging around. He's still looking for fights, and he might just get them coming his way, looking for the tip of the head. They're going to try and hunt him down. Simple won't allow it, and finds three on the anti eco. Simple never even had to leave spawn. No. That's uh, the perfect round. Set up like a turret, ready and waiting. One HP. You know how mad you are 
if you die to that there at the end. 99 N2. Here it is. Boom. Get him another one. Nope. Okay. Oh, big, still broke. Doesn't get easier from here on out. Another eco as Na'Vi get to take the lead on this T side. This is their map pick. Flashes on long again. Nades do land this time. No Molotovs to be had, and it doesn't matter because Na'Vi are looking to hit this B site very early. Keto, no way he can put up a hold versus four with just the Deagle. Surely not. Na'Vi are not rushing, though. They're waiting to see if there's long aggression. Citizen is making noise, and that keeps Boomich here for the time being. Na'Vi, here they come. Uh, oh, they missed the smoke. Not the and best start. And they missed and the, the flash. flash. Simple. <laughs> you should just focus on yeah, shooting. Yeah, I think at this point, like, you just say, all right, Simple, you just lead the charge with the guns. We'll do the rest. Don't you worry. And, Ooh. well, Perfecto going to deal with Keto. Well, they do find Boomich on the lurk in through mid. This B site is still overrun. And so for big, likely, they just want to get out of this round. Focus on the next one, Na'Vi. They steamroll the man in the site. And retaking B is like hard enough, even with a man advantage. So four on four when you've only got pistols, it's no easy feat. On the flip side, though, they're going to be buying up anyway in this following round, so they may as well see if they can do any damage here, right? Keep as many players in the site as you can and try and deny these rotates out. And that looks to be the game plan here. Na'Vi, they are, they are trapped on this ship as it's sinking, and they want to try and just get out of here. So they're going to try and move into the tunnels, but oh, Big dear. have anticipated this. Na'Vi are all hiding at the car. Electronics dead. Citizen dies to the bomb. He wanted to turn himself into a living Doja nade, but was just too close. <laughs> a living Doja nade. That nade that was, was alive. Yeah, dude. No, this was all such a, a weird ending to a round there with Electronic yeah. just resigning himself to death by explosion. He knew that they were rapping, right? So it's either go and give them the gun or yeah. just die with a bomb. And he makes the right call. Now, we still keep three alive. You don't want to give weapons over to Big. It's a shame that there was... Who was it? Was it was it Sears who died to the bomb as yeah. well? Yeah. It was a shame he didn't have armor because then he could have done some real damage there, charging the site at the end. But look at this. A fast mid play from Na'Vi. They are straight into the action. I'm loving how aggressive Na'Vi are being right now. We hit that stage where they'd gone back to like these very, especially on Dust, man, like these very, very slow T sides where they would just grind it out to the final like 20, 30 seconds and then explode into a site. But already we've seen so much more pace from them. Like Big don't even look ready for it either. So this is a really nice look for Na'Vi. Absolutely. They even got the AWP off of short by run boosting. The gap was too tight. Searson couldn't react. And so now he's climbed back up on Cat. Another flash. Does he hang around? Well, that's his mistake. Should have dropped when he had the chance. Electronic takes him down. Sometimes you don't know if you're going to get rushed with that flash or if it's just a flash to get you off the angle so the T's can set up. Well, Electronic, he goes ahead with it and it takes the advantage for Na'Vi. Not that they need it. Oh, boy. A bit of an A-fake here. Using Big's utility against them. And going back towards middle, but you can see this has all been confirmed or denied, rather by Tabson, who's pushed through and has seen the smokes. He's going to drop CT to stop the mid to B, but the spray from Electronic is perfect. Tabson's dead. Two inside of the site. Big know what's about to hit them. Zentaris needs a shot. Uh, some shots. He has only got one. Keto, same story, but they're wrapping his right side. He's going to flick off, drop the bomb. Keto holding strong, and it's only Electronic now stuck in mid 20 seconds with a player cutting off his rotate. This is not an easy clutch. And he has to go now. Oh, Tizian spots him on the cross. And big. They stumble back to their feet here with the four by behind them. In spite of Electronic's best efforts in the round. It's B play. Not helped out by the fact that Keto puts on a bit of a show with the AWP. There's something very satisfying about the slow motion AWP to knife gun sound change effect. I love it. Especially when it's okay. a knife. Just listen out for that next time we get it. Will do. Searson peeking off cap with the AWP. The fight's going on at long. Still a serious contest, but Big have really set themselves up in a way to control it. They're going to keep Navi from going out that way. Meanwhile, numbers start to mount in mass here in middle.
Temple flash up. Cat Searson holding the angle towards Bricks. Everybody's just kind of stopped. Ooh. Are they going to use a smoke on that molly? It's not going to work, though. The oh. classic bug comes back. Only half the molly disappears. The rest remains, and Simple gets boosted up. Like so watch, for, watch for cash aggra a cat aggression. Tabson did do it last round, but he's in mid this time, and so Big have actually forfeited this. And Navi, 40 seconds, going back to the slow style, but it could be the answer here with Big leaning mid to B. Tabson should be able to fast flank, though. There is Flamey holding on to this exact contingency from the top of middle. Tabson should expect this. This is very common. Navi making a lot of noise up. Catwalk, he has his back turned. Flamey peaks, great timing. Sears with the orc. Flick shot does not connect. He only gets one. And Boomage on long, do done by Tizian as well. That sets big up for a retake as Navi plants. Yeah, especially because they've dealt with the mid lurk in Flamey. And that's now turned this back into their favor. Tizian's very, very low, and so his choice really here is to wait for his teammates at Cat to kind of make their presence known before he tries to move back in through Long. He needs them to draw the attention away, and Tizian just gets deleted immediately. Now Na'Vi only have to worry about Cat, and Perfecto is lit up too on this push. It's left to Keto and a missed shot. It's a little bit yeah. awkward, and in comes Perfecto to save the day. Na'Vi, they keep this lead up. They get themselves an eighth. And now the money's in a very rough spot for Big. Yeah, Perfecto's actually been performing really, really well recently for Na'Vi in these online matches. So that must feel good for Simple there, not having to get a single kill in the two on three. Perfecto gets everyone. Lovely work. Tizian definitely could have come out later, but probably wasn't expecting Perfecto in the open on that box. We got a saxophone. <laughs> I wish we could hear it. Sorry, someone. Musical man. We had to do it. You know, we had to do it to him. He did it to us, so we had to do it to you. Maybe we could get our break music changed to, to fan. The epic sax guy? Yeah. Well, just, just fan music. I saw a violin. I saw a sax. We can definitely put together a band. Oh, we should put a band together in the On fan Discord. cams. Fan band. Fan band. <laughs> or the fan band cams, man. Oh, uh, yeah, man. That's pretty cool. Let's do it. All right. All right, we'll Thank get you, you on that, Harry. Yeah, man. I, mate, me and Trace can both play drums. So between us... There's like, too many drums. Yeah, no, but dude, there's no such thing. When have you ever heard a song and said, man, this needs less drums? It needs more <laughs> drums all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Louder and more drums. Speaking of which, loud is what Nobby can do in this round. 19 HP on Flamey. But the bomb's up catwalk, and just inside of the site is Tapson. All this flank, big no. They've already cleared lower. They're coming in on the back line. Na'Vi still holding oh for this one, but Perfecto diamond. looks away. Flamey's still here. He gets dropped. He was low. As you said, the Deagle one shot. Boomage taking down Tapson in response. Keeps Antares trapped lower, and he's going to find himself a second onto Simple, getting himself an AWP as well. Does he want to use this, or an AK rather, to win the round, or is it just to save here? Bigger a man down in a compromised position, and Na'Vi already had their post plants established. Antares, he needs a headshot here, and he immediately takes the aim punch. Perfecto again holding on with the multi kill and Na'Vi up to nine by the looks of things. Tizian, no guns for you. Na'Vi, they've had all the answers. Even when Big have known where they're going and what they're doing, not being able to put a stop to this cat long split that's been so consistent. In this round, it wasn't even a split. I'm really liking the look of Na'Vi right now. After a very, very flat entry into Cologne, you know, like we were, we, I think everyone was a little bit underwhelmed with Na'Vi there. And I don't think they were were incredibly happy with the performance either. It feels like we got like a redetermined squad here. And they've even tried to mix things up a bit in terms of pacing, which is always a nice sign. It did feel like they fell back into that, that classic Na'Vi style of play, right? Where everything's left until like the final 30 seconds. And, uh, you know, it just wasn't really working for them. And so this is like a welcome adjustment. And then the fact that you've, as you correctly pointed out, Perfecto has been looking really good as of late in these online uh, kind of age of play. That just strengthens this core even more. And now out through Long Door, it's Flamey getting tagged up through the smoke. It's a little bit of a weird round with these double smokes falling at Long. That's going to allow Tizian to worm his way in between them. siaston has got the AWP up at Cat. Not going to get challenged just yet. Navi. Oh, Gonna throw a man up into the boost here. Now, 
What you'd love is for Tizian to go aggressive because you know he ain't checking that position. He's I, getting shot in the back of the head. I like what they did there, though. They went for the boost, but they also called or they, they called for to make a sound cue towards spawn. So to give the illusion to to kind of just throw off Kilter Big, who might otherwise think they're inside of the tunnels. They're going to have to drop a Molotov in there. And that is certainly going to deter Navi, who now turn their attention towards Catwalk with a minute left. Yeah, the reason Big is heavily stacked towards Long is Flamey actually smoked the Molotov behind the blue bin that Big threw, and that made Tizian think that there was someone in the smoke, right? He was bailing his, bailing his teammate out with utility. That wasn't the case. So now Big is still two players here, expecting more progress from Na'Vi. Even though they've already cleared that position, well, Na'Vi are coming back to it. Quick flash up. Sisson's going to be blind. Timing shot does not connect. Tizian doesn't get checked, and he gets one. There's the Molly. He has a smoke of his own. He can buy time with this, as now Na'Vi back up against the AWP. No flash. Flashes to push him off this time, and Tapson's dropped the man in the spawn. Electronic follows up, and he dies too. Searson still here, still a nuisance. Tizian yet to be dealt with, and his nade is going to do it all. Simple now in the clutch, a one on five. Ten seconds to do it. It's more about saving at this point, and Tizian runs to his death, but that might be the only death here. Simple with only a few seconds. Tabson looking to get this orb out of the hands of Na'Vi. Oh, it's got to be after time in that. Oh, Simple ain't letting you take him down after time. Who do you think this guy is? <laughs> Five on the board for big regardless. Simple at least holding onto the orb as we approach this last round in the half. This A-hold from Tabson was, was nuts. Like, he deals with Perfecto, and... I didn't even realize there was a second man in CT and he just flicks on down and follows up. So good round for, uh, for Tabson. Simple, it's very important that he stays alive there. You know, going into round 15 with your best man owning nothing and having no money is certainly not the start you would have wanted. So he gets to have his weapon of choice. Oh. And there he is putting it to good use. Tarez trying to help out Searson over here in middle to get this low HP electronic. And that actually leads to his demise. We've also got a standoff at long. Tizian versus Flamey. The tale as old as time. And ultimately, Flamey is the man to win it out in the head-to-head. -head. So now there's an avenue at long open to Na'Vi. Oh, my. Fecto tagged through the door as well. Tabson's going to try and deal with him. And he gets that one for free. Now, the question is, where the hell is Electronic? He was tagged here early on. Oh, there he is, Ooh. down through the lower tunnels. And he actually now extends this advantage in favor of Na'Vi even further. Yeah, Long is there as the smokes are down. Bigger throwing all the utility they can to try and stop this last round from slipping through. But Elikito dealt with by the Lurk on B and Simple Trades taps on on the site. Na'Vi, a great first half. They look good and in control of their map pick as well so far. We're going to see what Big's T-Side can muster after the break, so stick around.
We've got a 10-5 first half on our hands here between Navi and the Big Clan. Welcome back to ESL Pro League Season 12, everybody. It's Harry Hugo and myself. We're ready to kick off this second half play. And so far, so good for the Navi side. We've shown up today in a pretty big way. Simple top in the charts at 89.8 ADR, 16 frags, 7 deaths, and a pistol round right in front of him, Hugo. Yeah, and if they take this at this point, Navi are going to be running for victory, running for gold. 10 in the first half. And CT side starts. Antara's going to look for that pick. Out long, close shots, but Flamey's not giving him much. And in that time, there's been a cross. Electronic, oh dear, he gets spotted. Even though the flash is good, the shot is better. Electronic, can you follow up? There's a second, tapping away. They're running him down, and Boomich is coming to save the day. It is a bit of a mess. He's trying to swap pistols. He does find one with ammo, and actually take another player. That's ridiculous. Wide swing on the car. Tizian's trapped. He's going to flash himself back in. And this has been desperate for big all half long. The pistol is nothing different. Oh dear, he's Boomage even getting though. smoke spammed as well. Boomage, a big playmaker in that round, trying to save the life of his teammate, ultimately swaps out pistols, grabs a couple kills for himself. He's a handyman. That's what they call him. And all this time, Perfecto is holding the flank. He's not even pushing, he's not making the mistake. Navi have two on long. They won't let him cross far. And so Tizzy, and if he backs off, he's got to clear an off angle. I say that Perfecto's just left, going even more passive. The danger here is, is the you know, Tizzy can go through spawn. It will be spotted from Perfecto, allowing Navi to rotate pretty fast, but hey, you're giving him a lot of room. Let's see if it's worth it. Perfecto needs to hit an immediate shot. Tizzy and no armor, 40 health, and there's the deletion. That's what you like to see from, from Perfecto. He keeps up his performance from the first half. And he does. And with that, Navi will go up to 11-5 for the big side. It's not so big right now. They're going to have to save in this round, basically. I mean, it's not like they have much to show for themselves here on this round, I mean. Eagles, scout. Yeah, desperate for big as well, right? Like forcing on dust two is, is always a difficult one, especially on this T side to find value if you're not going for the cat plays or pistol rush and B. Oh, that's going to be a great start though. Sisson through the smoke, through the wall, through the face of Simple himself. The scout battles one out by the side of big. Still Na'Vi have armed players waiting in the wings. Grouped up on Catwalk, big, know what they want to do in this moment. They know where they want to go. That Molotov might have different plans unless they could put it out. They do have a smoke, should they want to, but they're not. They know there's plenty of time left in the round, no real sense in rushing it. Instead, they'll just wait it out. A ton of noise made. Zonteras jumps off of Cat, runs himself into lower, but the brunt of this hit's still on Catwalk. They still want to go away from the looks of it. Boomich. A little bit of spray damage there onto Tapson. Brings him down to about half. Another smoke's going to come out, too. And I think Navi are starting to get it here. It's been altered. There's been an audible called. Oh, damn. Tapson, he drops into CT. He gets two out of that. No idea how. Even finding Perfecto, who's spraying him down from a range. Now Navi, a man down. T ah, Tapson. Oh, dear. He's stuck. He's trapped and he's being flanked. Boomich has him in the back of the head. And the plant's coming through. In the meantime, Zentaras is trying to force kills. And they've traded a lot of damage between the two. Navi have no grenades other than one flashbang to pop back into this site. And pop they must, as this is a round that Big should not be winning. They've done a great job of making it so close. But they've got to take it over the line, walking through the door. There's no cover. There's no one watching. They're running him down. Keto, so blind. Zantara's shot down. Keto, oh dear. He hits the <laughs> shot. The flick with the Deeg. Wow. The defender of B. And Big, he's going to, they're going to take a round. They're going to take a, a force by there. Man. And you see how they just transition seamlessly. So you know what? Catwalk, really not trying to run ourselves into that mess. They pivot towards B and it turns out to be the right call. Keto. Really quick shot there to end the round out. Yeah, man. He was locking it down with that second orb in the first half, finding 3Ks when uh, Navi entered the site. And right there, holding it down in the post plant as well. That's got to feel pretty good. It's given Big a lifeline, not just breaking the Navi economy, but not letting Navi take these free, free anti-ecos, these bonus rounds, going up to what could be a 13-5. Boomich, oh, he's waiting on the reload. Nice try. He goes early. Tizian's ready for it.
think putting pressure on middle, keeping Navi back and already a man down. I mean, this is a almost impossible position for Navi to find success in. We need some huge deagle kills more than ever and big. They may have shown theirs, but it's time for Navi to shine as well. They're going back towards long later. Luckily, Navi, a double set up here. Perfecto can draw in the attention. We have electronic waiting close to the CZ75. Yeah, Perfecto drawing them in. Now Electronic going to try and pounce, and oh, Pouncey shall. Deals with the first man, and now gets the hell out of there. Big, they move in through the catwalk, right? They come alive in the nighttime as they move in towards A. And they should be able to get this bomb down pretty much uncontested. Searson, going to go back to long. A ballsy decision here, because if he goes down, this is going to open up this long avenue for the retake, and so he will decide to get the hell out of there. These Deegs moving up through CT. There's a bit of a death squad up here inside of the site that I wouldn't want to find myself stuck between. However Ooh. simple, he might. He might relish in the challenge. As he tries to put a bit of sauce into the round, it's simple with the Deagle. Doing damage, but not quite finding the kill. And big, they find themselves round number seven, the lucky number. Yeah, the value of Sisson going back there is not only does he keep Na'Vi's attention on long with them, you know, wanting to retake, but also thinking, ah, oh dear, we're getting flanked at some point. But then he goes back and checks middle after he misses his shot. And off of, <laughs> off of that, he gets the info that, uh, that no one's flanking Cat. And so he can tell Na'Vi, or yeah, big rather, Na'Vi are coming in through CT, or they're all stacked long. It's one or the other. They have to be. So, you know, Big can set up with two players on that crossfire holding lower. Simple gets one, but one is not enough. 7 to 11. Navi broke. No one's cross B. And so Big, they're sending Keto in. They want to explore. They want to see if this is really true. Whenever I play my games and someone calls, no one's cross B. I cross B and there's three there. But uh, I think Big can trust this info this time. They've seen nothing, they've seen no one, and now they're all appearing in middle at the same point, getting made mince meat of Boomich for one, and that will be it. Big up to eight, as you can expect. I just can't believe you haven't figured out I've been sabotaging you this whole time, Hugo. The less kills you get, the more kills I get. Ah. That's how I look at it, right? And so I say, oh, no one cross B, and then you go, all right, I'll go B, I'll go B. But really, I saw them all go over that little mid area, man. Oh. You'll know I'm going up the catwalk, so. That's how that works. Look at the violin, man. Look at this guy. Yeah, he's playing it with some pace. Well, yeah, you know, I don't think you want to take... I mean, I'm no violin expert. Yeah, what are you going right? to say here? You don't want a violin slow? I don't know, mate. I think it depends on the yeah, song. Yeah, I think it does depend on the song, actually. Yeah, That's got you there, point. haven't I? Any violinists out there, let us know. What are your top 10 tips for doing exactly that? That's a lot of tips. Yeah, well, you know, man, you better have a long list ready. Your homework will be graded now that it's been assigned. You have 24 hours. And I know that sounds threatening. That's because it is. Boomich over here at long. Looking to hold the line. Boomich flashed, but still oh. with the spray. Boomich locking in the round, surely, for Na'Vi. Searson and Zantares, what do they even do? Everyone else just got embarrassed over at long. Boomich couldn't even see for the opening half of that spray. And simple now, can't have Boomich taking all the glory, pushes in through long and takes out Zantares, leaving Searson all alone. Very, very much alone here. And just looking for a way out. 1v5 wants to hold on to this orb. Now V with plenty of time left, surely they're going to hunt him. Yeah, the 40 second save is never where you want to be. No, it's you never know a you good have feeling, to. is it? But uh, Na'Vi in all this time could be gaining more and more control, momentum, position. They're actually not doing that. They're just crowding the bomb with four, and that's fine. Respecting the save, they want to build their own money as well. See, Boomich for me always has like one of the most like unique fears of any, uh, like at least my fears about him yeah. are very unique in that I'm scared about him like ever leaving CS to go become a professional uh, like artist. You know, like this guy's big and not like painting art. Okay, like, what like kind of art? Musical art. A musical art. Can he play the violin too? Uh, I don't know about his violin ing. That works. <laughs> that works. Yeah, I don't know about that. But he's quite the uh, the vocalist. You know? okay. Have you seen him? You heard the. I have heard. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I know the video you're talking about. He's piping up, man. And he's pretty good at it. Yeah, respect. He also did carpool karaoke. They did the. Uh, 
Really? Yeah, did you see, not not like not the real one? No, I didn't think they, James Corden was. Uh, <laughs> James was Corden and Boomich. Now that there yeah, is, I would that's pay a crossover that. we all want to see. Um, In Russian? I, I watched some of it. It was. Oh, I can't I remember can't the language now. Man. Yeah. Well, we'll have to do some detective, some think, research work, Harry. I think so. I mean, you're fluent in so many languages. <laughs> it's just hard to know, man. Yeah, like, what with me Ooh. speaking all these languages and here, Boomage, wait, he only wait, speaks wait, the wait, language wait. of warfare. He's gone what? past the uh, the man out long in the smoke. And Big, how are they ever to know? Boomage just striking them down. And oh, oh Tizian my. dead in the water as well. Boomage with a double. Uh, and Tizian was like so confused, like, no, wait, one top mid? Like, turn back around and get shot in the face. Boomich has just torn this round away as well. He is the secret ingredient for Na'Vi. This is the Boomich I want to see. And right now, things are going swimmingly for Na'Vi. They've not even had to pull out the double orb. We know that's still in play later on on the CT side, if there are enough rounds, right? You've got Perfecto fragging. Simple has been off to a strong start ever since this map began. And now Boomich is showing up. Oh, boy. All the, all the makings of a strong series. Big, can they fight back? Can they battle in a three on five? Or is this one where you have to call for help? Drop into CT. Tapson's down. The flash is good. Flamey's blind. Simple's coming through the smoke. Tapson's burned out Flamey. He was so white, he couldn't even see where the fire was. It leapt over the edge and took him down. Tapson trying to catch Simple. He can't do so. He's too low. And that's going to be electronic with a double. Free orb for him. I love that call from Boomich, though, right? He sees Tizzy and has gotten out through long. He smoked himself off. Tizzy and makes noise. Boomich doesn't go, oh, I'll spam this smoke, I'll take you down. He uses that smoke to his advantage and he creeps right past Tizian. Clearing, coming in on the back, killing Keto and doubling down his boomage all around town. Look at that. Navi fans out in full force. It's like a scene from a uh, from Shaun of the Dead. You know, there was only one of them out there earlier. How many are there now? And then there's just loads of them. Hundreds of Navi fans. Thousands maybe. Tens of thousands. Where does the scale stop? We're trying to tip the scales in this round. It's a flash out mid, big. Try and pick up the pace, but in doing so, they run the gauntlet into this trifecta of death. Just simple. Perfecto and Flamey holding down middle. The electronic gets another. And this is pretty much all said and done for old mate Zantares. 1v5 with the Deegan armor. Made a bit of noise as well, so Flamey knows. Flamey just calls for it, and there's the drop from Electronic, who solidifies the round. Just full confidence right now for Na'Vi, right? Electronic drops into that engagement. Flamey's cool, he's out mid. Electronic's like, yeah, don't worry, dude, I'll get him. I won't let him get to you. Not around the corner. And Na'Vi, they're just taking fights where they can. You know, I, I like this strong T side. Ten rounds is excellent, but to see this be even more consistent on the CT side as well is, is a great showing. We've seen so many of these games have come round from from ten right, uh, ten five T sides, nine six T sides, and go the full distance because it can be repeated. And big on a map that they didn't pick, but they probably would have if Navi didn't. They're finding nothing. Eight, three in this half. And three right back for Na'Vi. This is it. Do or die for big. This is the map in this round. Uh, great flashbang, but the spray is messy. Tizzy can't take down Boomage, who does escape the long doors. Na'Vi lived to fight another day in this five on five. Simple's even got the orb as well. Once again, back up on Cat. And big and barely got control, right? They get middle. They haven't even taken the catwalk yet. They expect the orb there. Long has been locked down by this utility. Keto does get flashed out mid for info, but he's not going to go too far on his own. Oh, until the to be smoke comes out. He's going to try and sell this fake quite heavily. Two smokes down, the bomb going long, and three inside of B. Na'Vi, they're set up for this. Simple's even peeling away to flash three. Flashes electronic out, but he's blind by it. That is a bit of a mistake, as now Na'Vi lose a man. They still think it's B. Boomich has to confirm the opposite, as he he sees the bomb and drops it to Tizian coming out. Boomish can't find a double, but Simple might be able to put a stop to this entire round. The clat! They line up. He's flashed. He doesn't even know it, but he's just saved Na'Vi's bacon. He really has. And what were the odds in that, right? It lines up for Simple. And so now this becomes a recovery mission for the side of Big oh. in trying to recover. They're getting more staggered than ever. Zantares has been able to retrieve the bomb and now runs back into the site and Ooh. now spotted by Perfecto. Simple Ooh. doesn't want to let him survive Ooh. the crossing, but he does get in. Simple attempting the wall bang through the smoke, through a box, through it all. 
as Zantares looking to go up and over. Player in CT, Zantares, pressure is on now. He's looking for this one fight that's nearby, but it's not being given over. They are making him sweat on the Na'Vi side. Zantares, what's he able to bring to the table? Down goes Simple, and now into the 1v1, and Zantares is able to close it out. The double for him to salvage that round for big. They needed someone to step up, and this man answers the call. Yeah, Perfecto was too busy watching the cross to Cat Rice, thinking if Zantaros would try and escape with that plant, but because it was in the site, he couldn't go anywhere and just forces the fight excellently. Simple swapped out to the AK, gone, and double down for Zantaros. Lovely stuff. We needed a clutch round for big, and maybe that's not how they thought it would go, but they'll take it. Despite the collapse from Simple as well, it's a big round. Money is going to be... I was going to say costly, but... I guess lacking would be a better word. Big are still on a scout after winning that one-on-one. -on -one. And Na'Vi, they were they were ready for that B play, right? And, and Big even sold the fake sold the fake really well with uh, three players of Na'Vi being there. They even lose the first man with no info because Electronics so flashed. Peaks early off of Simple's util from CT. Could have been the perfect combo, but instead it left Na'Vi lacking. And now they are lacking defense towards B. Only one man. The jump up. They don't know Tapson close. Electronic has the cover, and he's going to take him right down. Now it's on Perfecto. He's been great in this game. Can he keep it up? Fully blind, helped out by Flamey, and that's drawn the attention away. Perfecto allowed to get one more, but it's Flamey putting on the masterclass right now. Leaves it all on Searson. Relegated down to just an AK. Flash dodged, but Flamey so damn fast. And Na'Vi, it's map point to them on their map pick, 15 to 9. Big now, they need six in a row if they want to get this one back on track. The violin's still being played. And tiny violins out for Big here as this one looking to draw to a close. Na'Vi in full control of everything right now. They've got so many rounds between them and Big. They've got all the money. Big have got nothing left. And look at this, the triple hide in suicide you've never heard of it but here it is now they sprint down middle looking to go yeah this violin this music it might be reaching a crescendo right now as navi look to tow it over the line molly's in mid putting on a pressure forces big through and they go through the smoke at the perfect time as it fades taps and drops flamey into the spawn they go perfecto with one finishes the job on the low hp player but he's still the solo player on b keto the d does get overwhelmed and now perfecto can play for the tunnel but tizzy and chases him down excellent stuff for big that will allow a plant and a chance an opportunity to grasp this this round in the two on three Na'Vi aren't rushing on the retake. They're setting up with two in the tunnel. Electronic close door waiting for that mid-aggression that does often come through. But Big have no kills yet. They don't know where the majority of Na'Vi are coming from. Oh, Tizian going back to the tunnel. Leaves it in a two-on-two. -two. And another from Tizian as he starts to come to life. Simple while he takes that shot. Tizian trades. Four in the round for the man. And big, they salvage a 10th. Orp maintained as well. Now the money is still not in a good place with only one man surviving. They're gonna to struggle to bring AKs out into this round in spite of winning it. Na'Vi, it's an interesting juncture because they've got money to buy. But does that mean they want to? It's Na'Vi. You know they're always gonna put a bit in it. They're gonna dip some fingers into the old piggy bank. Scout and simple, Deeg's out for the rest. And I mean, it's been big being saved by these clutches in some of these rounds right there. They're coming out with every clutch. They've they've had two so far in this T side to just get them over the line. Santares and Tizian back-to-back rounds. Nice shot from simple. Oh. Na'Vi have had no clutches in this game. They've not needed to. It's, it felt like the rounds that Na'Vi win are concise, are confident, and keeping four alive more often than not. Well, is this going to be one of them? Oh, dear. Simple's double down. Not on the eco. Not like this with a heavy B. Na'Vi finally stacked it at the right time, and Bigger running in with their backs turned fully blind. Keto with a shot. There's still Simple here putting up pressure, but they do chase down the man on the car. Electronic gets burned out, and it's going to be a two-on-two -two here. Na'Vi have to give up the sight now. They might have to allow for a retake, but does Simple want to keep the pressure on as big put their guns away flash through miss shot now it's up to boomage yeah that was oh. the hero play that they needed right there from simple the shots just simply do not connect the bomb has not been planted we found ourselves in a curious 2v or excuse me a 1v1 even 
Yeah, Boomich is using this time to reposition, and that's pretty smart. You know, Keto is still anticipating that he's waiting for this bomb plant out in mid, and that is not the case. Keto looking like he wants yeah. to check it. He could even leave. He could even go to A once he sees mid is clear. And now that he's cleared middle, this is a weird little round. Boomich going to arrive just slightly too late. Keto trying to run the gauntlet, and he does survive. Lives to tell the tale. He gets to this A site. Boomich has retrieved an AK. It's the lack of armor that can come back to hurt him in this 1v1. Keto now getting that bomb down. Aren't it open? He's going to move over towards Catwalk. Boomich down beneath him. Checking the cat. Oh, Keto boy. timings everything. Oh, Boomich boy. has seen him. Oh, Boomich saw the head get to the cat side. Going to realize now that the bomb is planted for it, but with all the info, he's hunting down the kill while there's still time left. Boomich looking to make a big brain move. Keto thinks he's safe, but he couldn't be further from the truth. Turns back around, but Boomich lands the shot. Now is there time? It's no. going to be close, but I don't think he's got any. And no, it's the round for big regardless. Boomich and the rest of Na'Vi get all the kills, but they lose the round. That is still a good round for Na'Vi though. They went into that with a scout and a few upgraded pistols, and that was it. In, in winning that round in such a convincing fashion but then losing it to the time you've only got what two AKs being purchased up in this round for big the other guys are gonna have to be on Galil's again yeah three clutches in a row now for big to keep themselves in this game to keep Navi out of it and boy oh boy is it worth it four rounds difference between the two still no money for big right they're only getting out with one player surviving and in that case none so they can't exactly make money here simple he's still got his orb Glass still, but big. They get a player out long. Taps in his cross. Going to go back and boom. It's taking the fight. He's been so confident in this game, and it's been showing up in a big way for Na'Vi. Man advantage again, but we've seen Na'Vi in this position in five on threes many times, unable to close. Perfecto. Oh, dear. They get past the molly. They smoke it as well. They're committing into B. Flamey on the car. Gets one. Bo uh, Boomage killing Sears. And in the meantime, but it's a double entry into the site once again from the man, the myth, the legends, Antares. Na'Vi, no, there's no cross. There's no smoke for it either. Big might have to take fights, and this could be their demise. Oh, they run boost Tizian. They do have utility in this notion. And there you have it. So does Tizian. A trade, even at that. Yeah, Tizian, the man that was run boosted. The man with speed on his side now needs it more than ever. Simple and electronic. It is the deadly duo of Na'Vi up against Tizian. A stalemate right now. And Tizian's going to go aggressive oh. at the door. Simple lands the no-scope. And with that kill, victory is assured for Na'Vi. They take their map pick 16 to 11. And we had clutch after clutch for Big to round that one out and keep them in it. But in the end, that one...